Alrighty, we are here at the 2024 BT Awards, and I'm here with the wonderfully talented, amazing... Duran Bernard, your favorite cousin on your daddy's side in the not so quiet storm. <laughs> I know that's right. So let's get into some things. You were dropping new music on your own. You were dropping some dope collaborations. What is kind of like your creative process this year? And just where are you in this moment and releasing all these grooves? Uh, as I like to call them, bops. Mm -hmm. You know, some to bop your shoulders to. Um, honestly, just just collaborating, mm -hmm. you know, getting different people in the room so that you can bounce ideas off of, you know, nobody does n does this alone. You don't need to do it alone. So there's beauty in numbers. There's beauty in, in the camaraderie of, you know, talented people who have chemistry together, who just love being around each other and are good at what they do. You know, as Issa Rae said, it's about reaching to the sides of you mm -hmm. um, and seeing what, what beauty and, and things you can build from that. Amazing, amazing. And then one thing I love about your artistry and your music, you're able to display a wide range of feelings and emotions through your work, whether it be super mellow or intimate or vulnerable or like super happy, excited, confident, boastful. How do you kind of approach being able to bring that full spectrum of full humanity into these songs, like songs are like three minutes, four minutes? Like how do you kind of condense all of that to what you deliver? I think, and I've been doing this since I was like 19, as far as writing songs that were, you know, the in-betweens of the, the oh, I'm in love, I'm falling out of love, or um, I'm at the club, we, we, we getting busy in whatever way, you know, there, there are things like, you know, walking into a room and forgetting what you came in there for, or, you know, um, uh, every time somebody tells a fight, it's always a person telling the fight always won. Like, <laughs> right. excuse me, like, you don't Are ever you got sure? your ass whooped. Not once. Ever. <laughs> you know, so those kind of things. And so that's what kind of makes me stick out because I, I do talk about other things, like little things that if you're just a functioning adult, you could relate to it. So the the recent one that I'm talking about is, you know, keeping keeping a distance with folks that don't know how to greet you properly and they get their makeup on your on your on your cream sweater. You know, it's just this stuff. What are we talking about, babe? Now you get a fist bump of air kisses over there. You stay right, <laughs> right. over there. Far back. <laughs> yes. So another thing I want to talk about is your look. Um, you're not only just a dynamic vocalist, but you bring a dynamic look to the table. Um, I feel like every time I see you, your look is very vibrant stand out but not in a way where it's like look at me it's like I'm here so could you tell us a little bit about what you have on today and kind of what inspires how you present yourself I'm so glad we talked about this because first and foremost I have an amazing team that I that just we love to play dress up we love to just be inspired by you know artists and and things and and, and flowy shiny garments and all that stuff um and one thing that I've I I am, as I've always been a church, and make it enough. Okay, when Smokey's mama said, make it, this ain't enough, make it enough. <laughs> you know, and we utilize what it is that we have, and we work that. Like mm -hmm. Sierra said back in the day, get in, fit out. It's not about how, what, how much yes. it costs on us, it's just about how you rock it. And how I feel when I put these clothes on. If I feel good, if I feel like, oh, no, this is, oh, this is me. This is me all day. I don't give a damn if I got it from Buffalo Exchange because I just shouted them out in the song. Okay, I go thrifting. So it's really just about what I feel confident in, what I feel my most self in. And when we do get a $90,000 budget for wardrobe for a music video, <laughs> then we can talk about pulling out all this other kind of shit yeah. that I don't know how to pronounce, okay? But until we get to that point, we're going to utilize what we got, and I'm going to make that shit fly. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want you to talk a little bit about, you have a new project coming out soon, right? Oh no! It just came out already. It just came out? Yes, it's oh called In Root. Oh it's okay, gosh, baby. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. It's not not even. It's almost a month. It's just a month fresh. Thirty days. No, cause wait, I was waiting for it. I really missed it. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the songs in there? What are some of your favorite moments? What was your inspiration? Let's get into it. Um. Okay. So In Root is a is an EP. It's my first EP in like almost ten years, like eight years, and. It is uh, the journey from the last LP to the next fulling project. So it's, it's a quick 25 minutes, you know, getting okay. ready, you know, cooking, uh, you, you, on your way to work, all that stuff. It's a, it's a good project like that. Um, we're starting out with kind of telling stories about what we're going through in life uh, before we start the trip, uh, opening up with Unknown, and then we kind of kick things off 
hitting the road with fist bump. You know, um, we have GPS, which I call uh, Geraldine Patrice Simpson. She tells us where to go. I know okay, that's right. and um, that's fun. Uh, and also I don't know how y'all be letting Alice Ingram be getting away with the things that she be getting away with. You know, AI. Well, I hate that you know girl. her. Yes. Big hater. Yeah, just out, just just taking folks' jobs and things and whatnot. Stand your place, sis. <laughs> But yeah, um, what else? Um, acknowledging when we need a moment to kind of process and, uh, you know, since it is still uh, Men's Mental Health mm-hmm. Awareness Month, you know, it, for me it's all year round because I advocate, you know, mental health um, and therapy, you know, just having someone to talk to, having healthy outlets uh, to, to release um, because we don't want to hold those things in. We want to make sure that we get those things out in a healthy way or else that will manifest into physical illness. Stress is there. the main. <laughs> stress is the main thing that will take your ass up out of here. Okay, do not play with it. I've been there. I mm-hmm. really know. Yeah. So, uh, dang, I'm really mad. Like, I really was. Don't be mad, boo. No, I'm Just mad this. at me. Mm-mm, like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know when you didn't know it. Amen. That's my Angela. <laughs> and music does not expire. That is. I like that. You might have to like trademark that. As Beyonce said, you know, people aren't making albums anymore or, you know, and we are, but it's just, it's a lot to digest because it's so much being put out at the same time. You have the ma- the people that are backed with, by major labels. You have people that are independent that are kind of in the middle ground like me where we were putting in work, you know, during YouTube where it wasn't called an influencer. We were just putting videos up, you know, um, and we had the attention span to watch five, ten minute videos, you know, so it's so much how how it's evolved it's 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 quite interesting but i'm just glad that i came in at the at the curve or the cusp of i can i can really be myself and i have a cult following that group we they literally grew up with me within the past almost 20 years like my first video that i put up on youtube was 2007 December of 2007 yeah 